OG double E. Yeah, so it's an OG, OG shape. Yes, OG profile. Is that a word? Is it? Yes, that is a word. A damn design word. <laughs> yes, that's right. A damn design word. That's right. Today we're doing our fourth OG Crest pour. Um, we're using a roller screw just to achieve that OG Crest curved profile down here, uh, which means that we're kibbling in some low slump concrete on that steep section towards the downstream there. And we're also pumping in some mass fill, higher slump concrete up towards the, the upstream side of that crest. Uh, once that concrete's in place, we then use the roller screw that travels up from the downstream side up across the crest and forms that curved profile there that we're looking for. The OG shape is derived to maximise discharge potential. So um, with the shape the way it is, it means you can pass the most amount of water possible over the crest in a large flood event. You know, if you went with a, um, a, a, a more simple profile, so a trapezoidal profile or something like that, then you just don't get the same amount of discharge over the crest, so it would mean the abutments of the dam would have to be higher um, to pass the same amount of water. So that, that has obvious impact on the cost of the project. So um, by putting that shape in, yeah, you, it's, uh, it's an economical way of, of, of doing it. And it also, um, if, if you go with a more simplified shape, you also get negative pressures and stuff in the crest. So there's other drivers there as well. My role is to um, try and get everything organised, make sure the boys are ready, have all the forms and that all done, and steel done, get the final tick off and then put some mud in there. There's a lot of challenges with this sort of pour, getting everything ready and getting the concrete slump right and getting the roller to work properly and having the blokes in the right spot at the right time, which is pretty hard sometimes, yes. There's, there's two winches attached and the, the roller spins backwards as it's pulled up that curved profile. Uh, so we got those edge forms uh, fabricated, custom fabricated, out of steel. This is conventional concrete uh, and there's also steel reinforcement. Uh, you can probably see under the kibble over there, there's, there's steel reinforcing bars in, in this concrete and it's just your standard conventional concrete that you'd normally see in, in typical buildings and, and other things like that, 32 MPA. I've been here for three years now, out on the Cotterdam project. Yeah, I worked on the saddle dams and then the RCC, the main, main part of the dam, and now on the Crestworks, the primary crest school one. It's been great, you know, varied, varied experience and it's been interesting. I uh, get to do a lot of things you probably wouldn't normally do on a construction job. Um, and yeah, this, like you say, it's like the icing on the cake. Um, it's class one finish, this, this concrete, which is the highest class, class of finish. Uh, and it's good, yeah, it's, it's good to, to get it right and, and get some good results. I'm in Sydney now a couple of days a week and, um, uh, you know, down here two or three days a week at this stage. Um, so it's very rewarding to come home and drive down the hill and look out and see the structure off in the distance and, um, yeah, know that sort of the last five years of my working life <laughs> have gone to something, so yeah, it's really nice to see it come to fruition, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a big structure, and I think, um, you know, actually will serve actually well into the future. And what do you enjoy about pouring concrete? Just fill the hole up. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Have you enjoyed working on the dam project though? Yeah, I've been here for nearly 18 months now. Started on the placement, RCC placement, doing the formwork, and been here for a long time, and hope to see the whole show out. <laughs>